Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. If you are a first time visitor or returning, thank you so much for stopping by once again. Today I'm going to share with you how you can add videos over videos using Adobe Express. It's a great way to create tutorials or just to add videos on top of other videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's a project that I started in Adobe Express. This is a video project and I've imported this video clip of a tutorial that I created and I'll go ahead and first off I'm going to mute this just so the audio doesn't play but right here you will see that I've got about 19 minutes of playtime here and if I hit play you'll see that this is going through as if it was or I should say is a tutorial. Now one of the things I recommend when you are working in here is to turn on this show layer timing that just helps you see all the layers that you're working with so right now the current layer you see is shown right here above so it can get confusing you see this layer here which is the actual clip and then you see the visible layer here at the top now what i'm going to do is add the video that's going to serve as my tutorial or the video over video so here's what i'll do is i'll come over here to media and i'm going to choose upload from device now you could do two options you can either choose the upload from device here and search for it on your computer but if you already have it on another window open like a finder window you can just drag it in so here's the key important thing as well so i'm going to drag in the video so it's two things you can drag it over to the scene that you currently have now you don't want to do that right there because that will actually replace it basically just want to drop it here and actually before that pops up so the other thing is if you choose to drop it here it will add it as a new scene and i don't want to do that i just wanted to superimpose or, or be the video on top of video so i'm just going to go ahead and drop it up here and there it is so the longer you leave it there you'll replace it so that's just a little quick tip to know and i'm going to go ahead and mute this clip here i'm going to go ahead and move the playhead just so you can see that there's actually a video of me right there there we go so there's a video of me talking now right now the video is in the middle of my entire scene and i don't want that i actually want it to either be on the lower left corner or on the right this all depends on how your video tutorials are working if you have a lot of content that's visible here you don't want to place your superimposed video here because it'll cover up important or key menu options so maybe you want to put it to the right side so that is entirely up to you so let's go ahead and first off i'm going to go ahead and just make this a little bit larger just a tad bit you know in my opinion these don't have to be super large because again it's going to take up the landscape of your scene here now the next thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to crop this scene or not scene but this clip not the entire uh, scene here but just my overlaid video or my superimpose or whatever you want to say video over video so you got your original squares and circles if you want to get a little creative these are really neat so let's try the circle one and so let's see if I click out. So you see now I'm in a shape of a circle. So let's go ahead and move this down over here. And let's go ahead and I'm going to use this option over here on the right. This is the zoom in and out. And I like using that so that I can see much closer because if you notice my video clip here, if I move the playhead further this way, I will disappear out of scene because I was recording here in my office. So let's see if I bring it all the way up to the front. See, so you notice I'm gone there. So I just kind of have to make sure you mark it where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, this right here, I will crop, or I should say, I'm cutting my scene. If you notice, there's a little section that's in that is, I would say, somewhat grayed out and then what's visible. So if you notice right over here, you can't see. And this is basically where I come in. So if I need to be at the beginning, here's what you do is click on the actual video clip. Let's try it again. Click here. And we're going to make sure, and let's go ahead. Let's see. We got this there. We got my scene here. We want to make sure that that's at the beginning. So we're going to grab this and move it to the front right there. There we go. So now if I hit play, you'll see me talking right here. There might be a little bit of a lag here. There he is. And there's my clap set. This video clip is just a practice one that I was using. So just again to show you. And so this will be set in the entire scene. Now, if basically this is where I cut off. So basically what I will do is let me grab the playhead and bring the playhead over here. And this is basically where I cut out. So let's find where I cut out here. And this right about there, I think where I finish off. 
getting close enough where I need it to be, I think right about there. And then what we're going to do here is on this scene right here, we're going to, should be able to right click and split here. And I can get rid of this over here. We're going to delete the scene and again, let's click here and bingo, we got it. So if I hit play, I'm basically in the entire tutorial. So really cool way. Now I'm going to add a little bit of extra flair to that because you can see I'm in a circle here. So I've got a little extra tip here. What I'm going to do is go over to elements and go to shapes. I'm going to grab a circle, bring it into my scene. Now the circle is going to cover my video here, which is fine. And I'm going to click out here and drag and select everything. Hold the shift button down and click the video here. So that's not visible. I'm going to make sure this is aligned. There it is, center. And I'm going to bring my video up to the top. So I've got like a little video that, uh, a superimposed video and I got a little outline. Let me click and make that smaller. Here's a tip, hold the option on a Mac here. You can make that smaller. So it's say it stays concentric. Uh, we'll change the color to, let's go with black. There we go. It's a really cool way to add the overlaid video. And again, you can use the cropping feature, you can make them circle, square, uh, move them all the way to the right, right corner. Now, what I would do here is select both of these and group them. So that way, if I resize, they will move together. So now I'm like all the way in the right corner, hopefully completely out of the way. And there you have my uh, superimposed tutorial video on top of another video. And that's how to add videos over videos using Adobe Express. So now it's your turn to give it a try. If you have any comments or questions about this video, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell to be notified for future videos, and please share this video with your friends. Thanks again for stopping by and watching this video. And as always, be good to one another and have fun creating. Peace.